seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me. Ruggy X. And your girl Chuffle Bunny. And we're coming at you today on some more Ark Survival Evolved from the sun. I just sunk into the foundation. Well, hold on. I gotta see. You broke it. Oh, uh, yeah. I broke my leg. From some more! Sons of. We're coming at you on Ark today. <laughs> from the Sons of Anarchy <laughs> with a gate server on the island map. And, um. We're here amidst our Rex army that is growing. We've got like. What, another five eggs in there to hatch at this point, too? Uh, yeah, six, I think. Six? We were looking at, like, stats. And so these haven't even been leveled up yet all the way. They haven't well, been leveled up at, at all. all. Yeah. yeah. And so we're at uh, almost 12,000 health, 382 melee. We went and looked at the Rexes that we brought into the last, last boss fight. And some of these are better already without being leveled up than those Rexes were uh, when they were brought into the fight. Especially, like, as far as melee. Yeah. And health on some of them. Yeah. So... It should be a big improvement. I don't know if we're still going to bring those other Rexes in um, for the next when we try the Beta Megapithecus and just see how it goes. Worst that happens is we get rid of them so we don't have enough, you know, too many Rexes. I wouldn't be too sad with that, but that's going to be coming up really soon because we need to get a little bit more tech. Uh, a little more tech. A little more element because then I can make the tech replicator. That takes 100 element. I think we've got like 40 something right now. But uh, the Beta Megapithecus drops quite a bit. So that should be coming up really soon. But what we're going to do today is go see if we can't tame us. I'm looking down all mysteriously. Tame us some Titan Boas. Titana Boas, sorry. Um, which is relatively new. If you guys haven't seen the video, you'll figure out how to tame those today. The easiest way. And then uh, I want to tame a Gigantopithecus. There's a reason, right? So, like, you guys know the inside of my base, right? I've got the cool Patreon wall. You know, I've got my room downstairs. Then I've got my little bar area over here. And it has been so swamped lately. Every time that I stop recording, I mean, people just come in. All the chairs are full. DJ P Fresh throws on some sick beats. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm stuck doing all the work. We need a bartender. I need to interview some people for some positions at the bar. I need so, a drink. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hold on. Coming right up. Uh, oh, you took a dump and stayed. <laughs> yeah. Here, hold on. You can have you one of these. Come here. No, I'm good. No, I took the time to make it for you. Steaming okay. hot right there. <laughs> we got to interview got some people for the for the bar position, and I figured a Gigantopithecus would be the perfect pers person. Perfect dino thing. Anyways, if you guys end up enjoying this episode, please make sure. <laughs> Dang it. Please make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Please make sure to subscribe. So we're going to, first of all, Every time <laughs> we're going to go breed up a bunch of these aloes. We would use Rex eggs. So you tame Titano, Titan, cat, 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 Titano boas with fertilized eggs. We would use Rex eggs, but these are actually better off um, for us being used to be hatched right now so that we can actually bring them into the boss bite. So did I say boss bite? Boss, mm, boss bite. And uh, so we're going to breed up aloes because we're not going to really use those eggs too much at all. Uh, so that shouldn't actually I think they're on about the same tier as the Rexes So it's not gonna take much longer to tame some Titanoboas with that uh, the whole reason I want to tame them is they should Lay eggs apparently it just takes an eternity. I want to say The theory is you get them a little closer to the swamp that they'll lay them faster kind of like the mantis when mm -hmm. they're in the desert area You know, so we're gonna build something over here Which is pretty close to the swamp way over by the apiary and see if we can build something for them there. But also, we're going to have to go around the, the swamp and look for Titanoboa eggs anyways. Because I don't know how long it's going to take for these Titanoboas that we tame to actually lay some eggs. So that's the plan today, guys. We'll get everything together. Then we'll swoop out there. See if we can find some high-level Titanoboas. Get them tamed up. And uh, we'll get everything underway. Or something. <laughs> think we found our first victim. Did you say you found a 112? Yeah. Is it this one right here? No, it's this purple one down here. But that one's so cool looking though. Okay. So the thing is, like, they don't have sexes. There's not males or females or anything like that. 112. I'll swoop in and get it. <laughs> okay. I hate how low you carry these things. Oh, I know. It's dumb. But whatever. We're carrying it. We're not far from base at all. Obviously, base is right up here. 
We figured it might just be easier. Dump them in the base and then drop the eggs. Whatever. Or even if we dropped them up here on this ledge. Yeah, we. I guess we could do that. Whichever. Maybe it wouldn't tick things off so bad. Um, trying to. Oh, you've got all the eggs. So I guess I could drop this and then you drop the eggs. Yeah, there's an alpha raptor over here though. From your bird? Oh. Yeah, bring him over the base. Okay. <laughs> that might be a better decision. So I just care about maybe getting one or two high level ones, and then we can just get um the rest of them. You know, just to lay eggs. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna T Bun is gonna build me a little snake pen. That's the plan, anyways. We haven't worked out exactly how it's gonna look, but I know it needs to be over here somewhere. So, what are you thinking? Right over there by you? Yeah, that's oh fine. god. Oh yeah, for, we knocked out a Tapahara earlier, but it's it's doo doo. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. drop it right here. Yeah. Ready? You ready with them eggs? Hold on. Okay, I'm ready. Boom! Oh god. He likes it. He likes it. Huh. One. Drop you another one. There you go, little buddy. These things are super easy to tame, considering you can just drop these eggs from a mount, uh, from a flyer. I imagine, if I had to guess, that's gonna change. Wouldn't you think? Like they're not gonna keep so. it this easy. Bro. Hey, um, the eggs this way. Here it goes. Here it goes. Coming back. There we da, go. Da, da. That's what's up. Well, I it like it. Three for one twelve. These things are so squishy, though. Let's see what the stats look like. Oh, this is terrifying. 1,400 health. I feel like that's that better than... Bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. 285 melee. These are way better than the ones that we tamed on the research server. This one is, anyways. Yeah. Ugh, God, I can't hardly look at them. Oh, God. Get that thing away from me. So what do you, how many do you think we should tame? I don't know. I guess the more, the better. How many eggs do you have? I have three left. <laughs> oh, and it took four to tame that one? Three, I think. Okay. Or, I'm not sure. We can always get more eggs. That's not a big deal. Yeah. I say we at least get three or four. Okay. So maybe just park that right down here for now or on the other side of the apiary. I don't know. And then we'll find a couple more and tame them up real quick. Okay. Look at all the freaking saber tooth salmons right here. There's like a bagillion of them. We need to go fishing right here. What's that one? Oh, a 108? 108, yeah. I wonder if it'll bite me while I like swing past it. I hope so. It wants to, but it can't. Yeah, let's drop this one up here too. All right. This one should take the same amount of eggs. Then we'll have to breed them up, get some more, whatever. That's not a big deal. I'm thinking too, I know that they, um, I've heard that they get like, at least shows that they are affected by the over raptor buff. Okay. So maybe we should get another over raptor. Okay. And just see how that goes. That'll be super easy. Okay. Okay, so we have Six Titan Boas here. Most of them were actually pretty decent level. I'll say that. I mean, there's a yeah, level 24, level, level 30. Good level. <laughs> yeah, so half of them were decent. Um, I kind of... I don't know if I need to kick you or you kick me. I kind of want to see how quick they can knock somebody out. You know what I'll I'm saying? I'll kick you. Well, I mean, it is kind of my I'll tribe. I'll kick you, yeah. But we brought the nanny over here. Yeah, I'll kick you. It's and, cool. <laughs> and you can see that they do get the um, buff from the over raptor. So we'll see if that helps them delay it any quicker. I don't know. We've been here for a little bit. No egg. We'll hang out around base and do some work. We got our Gitli stuff on because, you know, we're going to need that to tame the Gigantopithecus. I thought, no. <gasps> I can see egg. Egg. Oh, seriously? Egg, yeah. Oh. That's amazing. That happened as I was talking about yeah. how they didn't drop eggs. That's awesome. That's probably like I didn't pay attention to it like when I was standing here watching. But it's probably clearly viewable in the video. That's awesome because I need two of these. What I was getting into is I had to, and I let Wombat borrow two um, when we tamed the Thylacolio. So, dude, that's awesome. So, there we go. Full proof. Titan boas do lay eggs when they're tamed. I don't know if it helps that they're closer to the swamp or whatever because people have said that they've stood for hours um, and haven't seen an egg drop. So, anyways, we'll, stick, we'll hang around. We only need one more. Uh, once we get another one, we'll go find us. Start the interview process, anyways. Or maybe like some kind of bartender yep. here at the Rocky's Bar and Grill. See what kind of drinks they can make. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, egg. Nice. Very nice. So now, why am I whistling at the egg? No one knows because I hit the wrong button. That's why. <laughs> oh my okay, gosh. so now we have two. I just got to turn these into. Oh no no! Stay put, snake. 
I hit O. Like, what is wrong with me? Yeah, hit there. I mean, stay. Oh, God. All day, I can't talk. <laughs> now I just got to make some kibble. So I'll make up two kibble. We only need, I mean, I'm thinking, I'm like, we stay packed at Rocky's Bar and Grill, you know? Yeah. But I feel like one employee is probably good to take care of it, don't you think? Oh, if they're good enough, yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to find a real hard worker. Let me see if I can even remember. <laughs> I'm going to have to look up what it goes. What goes into this dadgum kibble. But at least we got the eggs. Yes. See, the issue with some businesses is they're scared to get out and try and find good employees, right? Uh-huh. Sometimes you got to approach people and just see. Like, sir, you're level eight. I thought you were higher than that. Would you mind having a job? Would you like to work as a bartender, sir? Are you interested at all? Or are you just going to walk around and ignore me? Cool. No worries. Um, we'll just keep moving. We'll keep moving on. <laughs> but um, you consider it. I mean, it's better than pacing around out here. I don't know why it's not smashing me. I kind of thought it was going to smash me. Uh, it's better than pacing around out here by the water. There's another potential employee over here. Man, it's tough putting in the grind. But if you're going to, you know. You just hand out those applications. Yeah. If you're going to build your business. Good Lord. Then you got to do it the right way. Let's see. Levels this one. Excuse me, sir or madam. Are you interested in working at um, Rocky's Bar and Grill? It's the top bar and grill in the land. No? Not interested. Cool, no worries. I'm going to come over here and save my bird. Maybe. Hmm. I'm just wondering, you know, maybe we need to find us like a, just a real, a real pretty lady. That helps drive up business, right? Yep. And maybe, um, maybe we'll have a little more luck there. Fly around and see if we can't find us a pretty lady, Gigantopithecus. Found any potential employees yet? Nah, I hadn't found any more. Keeping my eyes peeled, though. That's a really cool looking dire bear. Is that one? 116 Ooh. female. Let's see if she's interested in the job. I got to put on my game face. <clears throat> she looks like she's looking for a job. Yep. Look at her. She looks determined. Oh, yeah. She's this looks like a like she's driven like she's a driven employee. Oh, yeah. yeah. Excuse Definitely. me, ma'am. Excuse me. I know you probably get this all the time, but I was just curious if maybe you were interested in working at Rocky's Barn Grill. You yes. are. Yes, I would. Oh, well, here. Take this in your butt. Then there we go. Oh, Did you like that? If you, if you, <laughs> that totally did not sound right, <laughs> especially with where I'm going. If you come work at Rocky's Bar and Grill, there'll be a whole lot more of that. <laughs> yeah, a whole lot more where that came from. Uh, there'll be a lot more where that came from. You, I'll give you some time. You think it over. It's no rush. You can just pace back and forth. What are you doing? <laughs> You're like hovering in the water over here. Me? Yep. Oh, perfect. You just pace back and forth. You give us some thought. I'll follow you around, stalk you. And then um, if you decide, I mean... We'll give you a call back if we're interested, actually. Yeah, yeah. My people will call your people. No biggie. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. We do have retirement benefits, and we offer paid time off. What? You're interested? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, sorry. I did not mean to punch you. Wow. Please, please don't take that personally or hold that against Rocky X Bar and Grill. Also, that's not a legal uh, workers' comp claim. All right. So, you know what? Just because you're interested in the job... Uh, oh, bro. Watch out behind you. Ah! What? Smash! Got here, bro. You know what? You're off to a good start. You're off to a good start, ma'am. Saving my life is step one. You're gonna have to do that quite frequently if you work at Rocky's Bar and Grill. Yep. But step two, just because you want to work at Rocky's Bar and Grill doesn't necessarily mean you automatically get the job. We're gonna have to get you back to the bar and put you through a very rigorous interview process. Well, I'll tell you, Miss Velvet, there's been thousands upon thousands of applications for this job. Very highly sought after. Yep. But you, ma'am, know how to dress for an interview. Yeah. So I'm leaning in your direction. I just feel like maybe we need to take you out and see what you could do. You know what I mean? If you're going to have this job, sure, you're going to have to serve drinks to people, whatever. But I need to know that if things get rowdy up in here, T-Bunny. Oh, my God. T-Bunny? What? T-Bunny get a beer or two? Ooh, she gets a little crazy. So I need to make sure that you're capable of, of keeping the peace around here. Why do you got your gun out? 
<laughs> no, I meant against other, like other things, not you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would have been so sad. <laughs> you shot my Megapithecus in the face. I got the Pithecus in the face. Do what? She oh yeah, I'm sorry. Name. You don't shoot Velvet in the face. I love the little thong. <laughs> the little thong in the back look. It's a good look. It's a good so look. Stupid. Wow. <laughs> How dare you talk about your employees like oh, that? Oh man. <laughs> Let's see what she can do. My milkshake brings up the boys to the yard and they're like, ooh, it's better than yours. It's better than yours. Better, better than yours. My milkshake brings up the boys to the yard and they're like, ooh, it's better than yours. Better, better than yours. Better, better than yours. My milkshake brings up the boys to the yard and they're like, ooh, it's better than yours. It's better than yours. Better, better than yours. My milkshake brings up the boys to the yard and they're like, ooh, it's better than yours. Better, better than yours. Better, better than yours. Well, I'll tell you what, Miss Velvet, <laughs> you can make a mean brew. Pretty Woo. darn good. I'll tell you what, I thought that last paracer was going to be the end of you, but you showed. You showed that you have what it takes to work here at Rocky's Bar and Grow, and I'm proud to have you as an employee. When Truffle Bunny gets rowdy, I know that you can stand up and <laughs> are you stuck on the chair? She's already drunk. You might have to take care of her. Yep. Let's see if I can now get that's off. That's a good way to end the day right there. It sure is. Floating Go above out, a chair. Tame some stuff. Come back, have a beer. <laughs> that's at the bar. Right, that's right. With, <laughs> with brand new employee. Woo! Oh, man. See, this is the kind of stuff I need your help with, Velvet. Woo! You're just going to let me float here above this chair. <laughs> Guys, that was a pretty epic episode, right? We, we tamed some tit titanoboas and uh, showed that they do lay eggs. I was a little skeptical. They do, in fact, lay eggs. It happened on camera. Then, I've had this plan for so long. We finally went and tamed us a bartender for Rocky's Bar and Grill. That is not Ooh, where you want to be right now. My milkshake brings up the bump. Okay, now we're stuck. <laughs> oh, boy. Now we're done See what you did, it. Velvet? This is the kind of stuff you're going to have to deal with on a daily basis. Guys, if you ended up... Oh, no. <laughs> If you ended up enjoying this episode, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, Velvet, come on now. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. I have a feeling I am going straight to sleep. And until we meet again. Amen.